times uh, G. Uh, and that's equal to MA, <coughs> which is density of the, the that uh, the, I want to use the same mass, the total mass, density of the object times volume of object, okay, times A. So from here, we can derive an equation for the acceleration of the object. The acceleration of the object is going to be uh, equal to rho zero, V zero, cancels rho zero, V zero, so it's just gonna be G minus rho fluid, V zero, V zero uh, cancels, so all the V zero is actually canceled, right? Because the buoyant force is equal to the total volume since all of it is sunk in. So there is no V prime here, okay? So G minus density of fluid over density of object times uh, G. Or you could factor out the G and just leave it as uh, G one minus density of fluid over density of object, okay? And uh, so that could be just a general equation. So it's going to accelerate with a less rate in water. It's got the acceleration is going to be 1 minus density of fluid over density of object. Uh, so we'll do, again, some examples with that. Now, another thing we could derive is uh, the equation for the apparent weight and the buoyant weight of the object. The apparent weight Uh, starting from here again, the apparent weight is basically the difference of the two, okay? So basically the apparent weight is just your actual weight minus the buoyant weight. And as you've noticed, uh, objects in water tend to weigh less, tend to seem to weigh less. So that's why when you, when you want to train, like let's say el more elderly people, they, they uh, lift weights in water because it weighs less. Well, because the actual, the apparent weight of the object, so let's say you're a person here trying to lift this, the apparent weight of the object is the difference of the two, the mg minus f prime. So we can call that apparent weight is equal to mg minus fb, okay? So that's equal to, uh, we can call that weight uh, prime, uh, and then it's equal to density density of the object times volume of object times G minus uh, density of uh, the buoyant force is equal to density of the fluid, volume of object times G, okay? So you basically have the, the apparent weight is gonna be uh, V0G, times density of uh, object minus density of fluid. Now, I could also re-express this as, remember the mass of the object is equal to the dense, uh, the mass over the volume of the object is equal to its uh, density of the object. That was the very definition of density, mass over volume. So I could express the volume here, V0 is going to be the ratio of M over density of object. So over here where you have 0, you could write M over rho 0. So you have here uh, V0 is going to be Mg over density of object, density object minus density fluid. And Mg is your actual weight, W. Okay. So uh, we can change this to W. So basically, you can uh, say that if your regular weight is a certain weight, and if you happen to find out that your apparent weight is uh, something else in water, from that you can calculate your density, okay? So let's do a quick example here. As a matter of fact, that's how one way of finding the the body percent fat of people is you have them sit in some kind of uh, contraption here. Imagine you are, you are a person sitting on a chair, 
suspended by some string. Imagine here, and you have a certain instrument that is measuring how much you weigh in water. From that, we can calculate the density of the person. And of course, the denser you are means the more muscular you are. Okay. So let's say, just a quick, no, just a quick number here. Let's say your regular weight is 200 pounds, and then the person gets in the water, uh, <coughs> and your uh, apparent weight comes out to be 160. Okay. So W prime is going to be 160. So what's what's the density of the uh, person here? 160 is equal to uh, 200, and the density of the object minus. If you're in water, then the density of fluid is uh, one over the density of the object. So now it's a matter of solving for density of object. So you multiply here 160 rho o is 200 rho o minus 200. <clears throat> okay, and then the 200 goes over here. And then 200 minus 160 is 40 rho o. And uh, rho o, the density of the object is in this case 5. 5 gram per cubic centimeter. Okay? So that would be your density, and then from that you could do some calculations to find out what does that mean. Are you more muscular or do you have more fat? Uh, what would happen if the apparent weight had been 140? So let's see here. Apparent weight was 140, apparent weight was 140, and now this would be 140. Uh, this would be, uh, uh, this would be here, 200 would come over here. So this would be 140, 140, and the 200 minus 140 would be 60. And then the density of the person would be what now? Uh, 6 goes into 23.33. So the density of this other person is 3.33, which is kind of like the density of rock. And this is 5. So this guy is more muscular. So basically the idea is the person whose weight is affected less by water is the more dense person, you see? Well, that makes sense. The object, when you put in water, if the object's weight doesn't change too much, that means it was denser. The buoyant force of the water didn't do much to it, okay? If the water affects you a lot, then that means you are less dense. So your apparent weight in water will be affected a lot more. Okay, so let's do a couple problems then with that. 